really need to get back down to the basics of the overall EE architecture and I have to look at all of the devices, all of the hardware, software, of the electronics, the networks, power distribution, and how all these things are connected together with the wiring harnesses. When you look at our portfolio, we understand everything on that vehicle from sensor to cloud. In our high voltage portfolio, which includes chargers, inlets, it includes the, all the connectors between all the different parts that make up that high voltage system, as well as the power and signal distribution, we're in a great position to understand how to optimize that architecture. Domains such as electrification, Autonomous, connectivity, as well as infotainment are highly interconnected. So we have to make sure that all these domains work in harmony to provide the best possible customer experience. And really, we're the only company that has all the pieces. Without having all of those things, it's difficult to really look at the kind of an unbiased trade-off that really serves the best purpose for the customer and not just for one particular supplier who has a piece of that. By simplifying the architecture itself, by reducing the complexity of the software development and ultimate deployment into the field, the end customer will be delighted daily instead of year over year. Starting with a battery electrified vehicle, you now have the opportunity to virtually clean sheet that architecture. And with that comes the opportunity to say, look, I wanna reimagine how I'm managing software and content around the vehicle you can take a much greater step towards that software-defined vehicle than if you were just trying to incrementally improve an existing architecture. And that's what's been so exciting. We were able to sit down with our OEM customers and really draw up what that architecture can be in terms of centralized compute, simplifying the signal and data distribution around the vehicle, and really lowering total system costs dramatically while enabling much higher performance compute as well as sensing capability. This move towards electrification really kind of unlocks that opportunity, and it's been exciting in 2020 to see how many OEMs are now really taking advantage of that. 2021 is where we really put it onto the road, so to speak.